So I was playing around with MCP model context protocol, which is Anthropic's proposal for a protocol to connect LLMs to tools. There's tons of videos about it out there. I made one explaining uh, why you need such a protocol. But I just wanted to get some experience writing a little MCP server. So of course, I wrote an MCP server that controls Emacs. So now you can connect this to your cloud desktop process and it can control Emacs with the power of LLMs and natural language. So this was relatively easy to write. It uses the MCP SDK, which has a bunch of really nice abstractions to actually write and expose these tools. And I just have two tools. You can see this decoration MCP tool, one which generates Emacs Lisp and another one which executes Emacs Lisp. This first one uses an LLM and this second one executes Emacs Lisp code inside the running Emacs process. So I have Emacs over here. I just ran Claude. And the way you get Claude to recognize your MCP server is by adding config like this into the JSON config for the Claude desktop app. There's plenty of docs on how to do this, but you're going to have to do this setup before you can use it with Claude. So here I have Claude, and you can see that down here in the list of tools, it recognizes my Emacs MCP server and it sees the two tools I have. So now I can ask for Emacs things and it'll hopefully do them. So let's start simple. Um, what Emacs version running? So hopefully this just shows the overall flow of generating Emacs Lisp and executing it in my Emacs process over here. All right, so it did that. It invoked this tool, execute Emacs Lisp code. This is the code that it sent to Emacs. I'm simply invoking Emacs client on the command line. And 30.1 indeed is the version of Emacs I'm running. Uh, let's see, list all open buffers in Emacs. All right, so it ran this Emacs list and it got back a bunch of open buffers. And those indeed are all my open buffers. You can look at my list of buffers over here. It's more or less that. All right, let's try something a bit more complicated. Please insert about a hundred words of lorem ips text into the scratch buffer in Emacs. See if it can do that. Here's my Emacs. And all right, there you go. But put all this text here. Let's try one last thing. Delete the first two lines from the scratch buffer in that. All right, there you go. First two lines are gone. All right, so that was just a quick toy exploration for writing an MCP server. In this case, the MCP server controls Emacs. Obviously, this is not a super realistic use case. Uh, the point is that in real life, you would use it to control something other than Emacs, something more useful than a text editor in which I spend a lot of time anyways, and which I can control directly. Anyway. But I thought it was a cool toy example of an MCP. So the GitHub repo is public. I'll leave a link to it down below and go have fun with MCP. Thanks.